rich, buttery, decadent, cozy, delicious. The cocktails you'll be able to make with this DIY butter syrup will make your winter feel like you're in one of those magical winter Harry Potter scenes. Especially the better hot butter drum you'll make today. But we'll cover the basics first. So we're making two versions of the hot butter drum. The classic one with regular butter and an elevated version with our DIY cacao butter syrup. So if you're looking for something other than your classic knocks, toddies and malt wines for this winter, you're in the right place. Let me know if you make it to the bottom of the glass and share what's your go-to winter cocktail down in the comments. We'll start with the classic hot butter drum. It's cocktail time. The hot butter rum recipe is a template that you can twist and adjust to your own liking. The style of rum, the spices, even the sweetener. You could use any of the syrups in your fridge. The obvious one is the Marara syrup, and Library Co's the Marara gum syrup will add mild aromas of toffee and caramel, but even more importantly, a silky texture. If you want to add more flavor, try one of their flavored syrups, like cola, orja, toasted coconut, or caramelized fig syrups. But I'm starting with the classic, so I'll be using the Marara sugar alongside these ingredients. Butter, obviously, cinnamon, nutmeg, some allspice, vanilla extract, a pinch of salt, dark rum, hot water, and a cinnamon stick. To make it, I'll first warm up a glass with hot water. Discard the water, then start adding the ingredients. Starting with 2 tablespoons or 30 grams of unsalted butter. Next, 1 tablespoon or 12.5 grams of sugar. Now we add the spices we mentioned before, quarter teaspoon of ground cinnamon, some freshly ground nutmeg, and a pinch of ground pimento or allspice berries. Next up, a little bit of vanilla. A pinch of salt will enhance all of the flavors. And now I'll add the liquid ingredients. First, two ounces or 60 ml of dark rum. I'm using Appleton Estate, eight year old reserve. We have the butter and the rum parts. We still need to make it hot. Top it up with 4 ounces or 120 ml of hot water and give everything a good stir to melt the butter and combine all of the ingredients. You could do this with a cinnamon stick as well, since we'll add that as a garnish. Let's give it a try before we make our own version. Cheers! You'll get an inviting aroma of sweetened melted butter with a hint of warm spices. It has a velvety texture, but the richness of the butter and brown sugar is nicely balanced by the full-bodied rum. Spices are quite strong, but the hot butter rum is really a cozy delight. I wouldn't blame you if you'd like to make hot butter rum throughout the winter. One way to make that easier is to create your own butter syrup, which is what we'll do next. But Rob from Rob's Home Bar has another interesting technique, which I'll share in the recommended watch section of the Cocktail Times newsletter that will be sent this Saturday. Sign up on kevincoz.com for the weekly newsletter and to receive two homemade bitters recipes in your inbox. Alongside our buttered syrup, which will actually include leftover cacao butter used in the homemade liqueur de cacao episode. We'll make our better hot buttered rum with 12-year-old rum, sherry, a little saline solution, and some water, and a little tonka bean on the top. I'll talk more about tonka when we reach the bottom of the glass, since it's something not everyone is allowed to buy. Before we make the cocktail, I'll quickly show you how I made this cacao butter syrup. As mentioned, you can add cacao butter, and I'm using the one you saw me use for the sui version of cacao liqueur, so it has vanilla added already. But we'll also add regular butter, water, gum arabic, and xanthan gum as emulsifiers and stabilizers, and of course sugar. If you don't have cacao butter, just up the amount of regular butter and add a small amount of vanilla. First we dissolve our emulsifiers in water. Start by boiling the water and weigh out 200 grams. Pour it in something that's suitable for a stick blender. Then add in our emulsifiers, 2.7 grams of gum arabic and 0.3 gram of xanthan gum. Blend it until everything is fully dissolved and you have a homogeneous mixture. Then we'll melt all the butter in a pan. I have 110 grams of regular unsalted butter. 40 grams of our spent cacao butter with vanilla. The leftover cacao butter can be used together with banana oil sacrum from last week to bake some of Out of This World banana bread. We really want the buttered notes to be the star of the show in our cocktail, so we're not making a one-to-one -one syrup. By adding less sugar in the syrup, we'll have to add more of the syrup into the cocktail, which will in turn mean more of the buttery goodness. Speaking of which, we're filtering the melted butter to catch any pieces of vanilla that might still be there from our cacao liqueur. Then, while it's still warm and melted, Pour it into our water while running the stick blender. The emulsifiers will act as the bonding components between the water and oil, meaning all we need to do to create our buttery syrup is to add the sugar, 150 grams. As mentioned, the sweetness in the syrup is made to feed this cocktail. For other cocktails, I suggest adding an additional 50 grams. Once the sugar has dissolved, we are done. This butter syrup is ready to be bottled and labeled. It's creamy, rich, and with just the right amount of cacao notes. 
you can also use it to make deliciously rich versions of cocktails like the Brandy Alexander, an eggnog variation or the grasshopper. And our director Ruby said he'd love to try the grasshopper, so he'll make it after we finish this episode, and we'll post that to our Patreon. But now it's time to finally make the better hot butter drum. Again, start by heating up the glass. You don't want the hot water we are adding to the cocktail, to heat up the glass instead of the cocktail and you. Then pour out the hot water and add 2 ounces or 60 ml of our homemade cacao butter syrup. That's got to be a record for the amount of syrup used in a single serve on cocktail time. But now you know why we added less sugar. Follow that with the same amount, 2 ounces or 60 ml of Everton Estate 12. This Jamaican rum is a blend of rare hand-selected pot and column steel rums aged for a minimum of 12 years. To that I'll add a bar spoon of Cristina Sherry from Gonzalez Bias. This is a medium dry style of sherry with a blend of palomino and a small amount of Pedro Jimenez grapes. Six drops of saline solution will enhance all of the flavors, just like salt wood in cooking. And to make it a hot butter drum, add 3 ounces or 90 ml of hot water and mix well to combine all the ingredients. For garnish, I'll grate a little tonka bean on the top, which has a nice vanilla note to it. Nutmeg works as well. Now let's see if it was all worth it. Cheers! A nicely spiced aroma leads to a creamy and pleasantly boozy cocktail. Cacao and butter make for a perfect pairing. Vanilla is a nice touch, and a choice of rum was on point, if I can say so myself. An excellent hot cocktail that offers a soul warming blend of flavors with every sip. With that, we've made it to the bottom of the glass. Today we'll talk about the tonka bean. Before we do, post this fancy butter on a platter emoji in the comments to let me know you've made it all the way here. So tonka beans, a product of the South America Comaro tree, contain a naturally occurring chemical known as cumarin, which is also responsible for the seed's pleasant odor. But since cumarin can cause health problems, such as liver damage, the American FDA enforced a ban on tonka beans in 1954. However, according to CocktailSafe.org, a fully grown adult would need to consume about 2,400 plates of tonka bean flavored desserts to reach the tolerable daily intake of cumarin. With that said, as always, use only the ingredients you are comfortable with. Interestingly, cumarin is also found in cassia cinnamon and cherry blossom tree leaves, which is just a nice segue into this blooming martini, inspired by the season of blooming cherry trees. But it's far from spring, so I'll see you next week with another hot cocktail. Cheers, friends of cocktails.